Okay. Well, now we're all done scraping. I got the hide here in the bucket. And this is a scraped deer hide. I've rinsed it a couple times to try to get some of the dirt and stuff off, but I dropped it promptly right after I rinsed it. But anyway, this is a scrape. You can kind of see if I stand, you can see as I move it, my shadow behind it. That shows you that I've got the hide good and thinned out, which is what you want. Don't worry about it being that thin. That's what you want. You want it to be that thin. Now remember, even though I've scraped the hell out of that, that's still got some lie on it. That's why I got this rag. Try to wipe some off. But right now I've got some uh, water in the house boiling. I got about three gallons of water getting hot. Not boiling, but hot. I meant to rephrase that. Boiling is not what you want with this stuff. You want it warm. Warm. Okay, and what I'm going to do is bring that three gallons out here, put it in with this bucket, and then I'm going to put a pint, or a little bit less than a pint, of apple cider vinegar, or, or cider vinegar, but white vinegar will work too, in this bucket. And then I'm going to let this hide sit for about, about eight to ten hours. And what that'll do is bring the pH level and everything back down to neutral, so your hide will be neutral again. Another way you could do this step, this is called rinsing. And another way you could do this step is by taking this, and if you have running water on your property, you know, like if you have a crick in it, go ahead and dig out a big section of that crick to make like a, a running pool, okay? Then you can take your hide and put it in that pool and set a couple stones on it and let it walk away for a couple hours. If it's in the, if the water is above 60 degrees, it should only take four or five hours for that to rinse all the alkali out of that. But now remember, when you do that, when you're rinsing the alkali out of this hide in the running water like that, it's going downstream. So now you could potentially be polluting the water downstream. So that's up to you. You do that part if you want to. Me, I don't do that. I neutralize it with the vinegar, and then the, the water is safe. You can toss it out and not worry about it ruining or hurting anything. So... I'm going to pause this, go in and get the water, come back out, and we'll go from there. So, give me a few minutes. All right, now, here's a key note on this point. In fact, if the water is too hot for your hands, okay, for you to keep your hand in, it's too hot for the hide. And this is warm bath water, not hot bath water, warm bath water temperature. So this is just right. So now I take my vinegar. My hands are all wet and slippery. Now I don't get absolutely exact with this, but... Need about half this bottle. And then I add the water. And almost instantly, you can look at it and see the vinegar and the water turning the hide to a, a very palish color. It's almost an instant to process. And yeah, so you can see how it's sitting in there in sections of it. See right there, I didn't get scraped real good. There's a piece of membrane there. There's a little bit there. So, but that's on the edges. So that's not going to make too much of a difference. But now, I'll let this sit till probably tomorrow sometime. Uh, another eight, ten hours at, at least through tonight, and then I may go ahead. I don't know. It's probably getting on close to one o'clock. So yeah, I'll probably let it sit till tonight, till about an hour before I go to bed. And then I'll take it out of this water and I'll take it into the bathroom and rinse it again in the bathtub, real good. And then I'll 
get some bath water, about three gallons of it, and I'll put another, put this in there with another cup for mm, 10, 15 minutes and let it go. In the morning, I'll put it back in there and let it do its thing, let it rinse. So, yep, in 12 hours, we'll have a rinsed processed tide that's going to be ready for brain tan. So, now tomorrow, which this that's all going to start taking place, um, I have another hide to scrape. So, I, I took one out of the freezer and I'm going to let it thaw on its own tonight. And tomorrow, it should be warm enough that it should be... I should be able to open it up, flesh it, and get it to get it soaking in the live solution. So, and then the first of the week, I'll be able to do another one. There it is. But anyway, now that's going to sit for a few hours. Anywhere from, oh, it doesn't have to be a full 10 hours, but it doesn't, you know, don't go over 12. Because then it, it, it's going to have too much vinegar and it's going to acidify it again. Right now you're just trying to bring the alkaline levels down to neutral. So, and if you want to get real technical with it, you can go buy one of them alkaline strips and stick it in there and see what it reads it and tells you and then you can adjust it properly to get it down to where you need it to be to get it to neutral. I don't do that. I don't worry about it all that much. But anyway, so that's the rinsing part and I'm, we'll get this all, I'll get them up, put them up, put them on Facebook or YouTube and and then tomorrow, you can see how I wring out a hide. So we'll go from there. And I'll talk at you later. <laughs>